18th Sunday after Pentecost, Year A, from Psalm 19, the fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. In the name of that Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week talk about the fear of the Lord. In Exodus, when the people are frightened by the mountaintop pyrotechnics of God handing down the law, they ask Moses to act as a go-between, lest the very sight of God kill them. Do not be afraid, Moses says, for God has come only to test you and to put the fear of him upon you so that you do not sin. Whoa, that's messy. To say that God is just testing us, well, that's just not convincing enough for some people to change their ways. What we all want to know, after all, is whether God's going to zap us. Now, Paul tries to dismantle this point of view. What he's found is that just acing the test, just seeking a righteousness of his own that comes from the law, has left him both empty and ill-equipped. Empty because blamelessness, after all, is not the same as happiness. Ill-equipped because life with other humans, as we know, is far less predictable than a test. Paul has learned the hard way that what he really needs is the righteousness that comes through faith in Christ. The righteousness from God based on faith that God will lead him forward on this uncertain path. Like the servants in Jesus' parable, Paul has found that doing the right thing does not mean that we will be justly rewarded in the here and now. (laughs) He even tried to unravel Jesus' remarks about the cornerstone ought to leave us somewhat perplexed. I mean, how is it that Jesus' gospel of love and mercy is going to be so destructive? But if you've ever torn yourself apart with sorrow for what you know you've done wrong, thinking yourself beyond God's mercy, or if you've ever had to crush a prideful part of yourself in order to accept that mercy when it's offered to you, then you know the truth of this saying. Life is not a test by kindred. Life is a vineyard. Our God has given us the commandments as fences and watchtowers and even a wine press to help and protect us in our work. Let us offer the produce of our labor to the owner of the vineyard. Let us give our thanks and praise for the honor owner of the vineyard is none other than our strength and our Redeemer. Amen.